Good day. Today we're going to build a castle. Okay, so think back when you're at the beach. Uh, you have a situation where you got those molds, build a fortress, some walls, all kinds of fun stuff. Guess what? We're doing that, but in our friend Blender. Okay, so our first thing is we're going to set out some outer walls. So let's go ahead. Let's just take our cube, okay? And let's go ahead then, and I'm going to zoom out here. Let's go to our scale manipulator. Let's change the scale there. I want to set it so it is completely taking up one part. Okay, sort of like the whole, whoops. There she is. So right about shot. So you can see here that takes up one side of our sort of grid there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scale it up uh, along the z-axis. So we want our wall to be high. High and mighty. And now let's make it a little skinnier. Or no, no, we're going to keep that where it was. Yes, here we go. We're actually going to make it a little fatter, I think. Okay, so that's our sort of outer wall. Sweet. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and duplicate that. So I'm just going to press our duplicate button. And since that's going along our y-axis, I'm going to want one just on the other side. So y, there we go. So I'm going to put that right at the very edge. OK? So there we go. That's nice. And again, we're going to go ahead and duplicate. All right. And for now, actually, I'm just going to keep it right there. And I'm going to rotate it. Okay, so it's just sort of perfectly, whoa, 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 yes, we're going to rotate it just so it's, it's going um, horizontal. Did I, yes, I'm actually going to start over with that one. So I'm going to go ahead, select that, duplicate, and then just bring it over, actually. Yeah, let's duplicate along the y-axis again, and we're going to go ahead, swing it so it's horizontal, okay, then we're going to move that up, good stuff, and again, we'll duplicate it, and this time though, it's going to be along the x-axis, okay, good stuff, so, there we go. That's basically what we're looking for. I think it's just uh, slightly off a little bit uh, for these uh, horizontal walls. So I'm actually going to just move that a little bit more. Try to get it good. But yeah, that is pretty good right there. Okay. So now at this point, what we're going to do is we are going to add uh, some towers. Okay. So let's go ahead then, and I'm going to select just sort of my cursor right there. And I'm going to add uh, sort of a, a cube. And then on top of that, we're going to put a, uh, or actually, we're going to add a cylinder and then a cone. So just something really simple. So let's go ahead on all four corners of our castle. Let's add some uh, towers or turrets, if you will. Okay, so there's our cube there, or excuse me, our cylinder. And now right on top of it, I'm going to add a, uh, a, a cone, okay? So let's go ahead there. This, is, this can sometimes be difficult. You'll have to just play around with your views, okay? So just get it flush. There we go. That is getting very close. And we only have to get it right once, because then we'll just duplicate it for our other ones. So there we go. Close, close, close. Okay. Great. So let's go ahead then, and to select both of those parts, we're actually just going to do a shift and then click, shift and right click. So now both those are selected. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate, and then for this case, it's going to be along the x-axis. And then let's duplicate that again. That's going to be along the y-axis. Then duplicate that again, and that's going to be along the uh, x-axis. Whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, let's, yeah, there you go. Calm down there, Charlie Brown. 
All right, x-axis, there we go. So now there we go, we've got our four sort of simple turrets, okay? Uh, so another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a moat, okay? So to do that, let's go ahead and we're going to add a, um, add a, uh, a plane. So let's go to add, mesh, and then plane. Now what we're going to be doing is later on we're going to be adding a, uh, a sort of some grass in here. But for now, let's just keep it, just pretend it's uh, it's going to be all right. So we're going to go ahead where this this the, this plane is. We're going to expand that out. Make sure it's a little bit past. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical, but try shoot for that. Okay, and then same thing uh, as far as uh, vertically. Okay, so let's go ahead then. And we're going to go to, uh, well, we'll leave that there for now. Okay, we'll leave that there for now. Actually, we're going to duplicate it and just bring it along just a, a second one right above it. We'll be coming back to those later. One of these is going to be uh, brown. The other one's going to be um, uh, water, ground and water. So let's actually shrink that top one down a little bit then because it only needs to be within the castle. Okay, so there we go. We've got sort of our uh, our basic floor plan. Now what we need to do is we need to make a keep. Okay, a keep is like the last defense of the castle. So let's go ahead then and add uh, a cube. All right, same deal as before. Let's go ahead add it, and this time it's going to be like our main sort of fortress here. So let's go ahead. Scale that out. We want it to take up uh, quite a bit of the courtyard here. It's going to be similar almost to the uh, mausoleum we made in a way. Hopefully it doesn't turn into a mausoleum. Let's go ahead and just move that over. Let's go ahead. Now let's make it taller. So you can see. Whoa, 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 whoa. So that's looking pretty interesting. Cool, cool. Now on top of this, let's do something like sort of interesting. Like I'm actually going to put just like you know again sandcastle mode. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add uh, I think like five cubes. All right, so let's go ahead add cube. Let's go ahead then bring that up, and we're going to put it on the four sort of corners of the uh, of our situation here. Let's go ahead and shrink that down. Okay, let's bring that up along the z-axis. That's a little bit too tall. There we go. Let's bring that down. So it's flush there. Whoa. All right, that is close to the edge there. Up a little bit. There she is. There she is. So now let's go ahead and I'm going to duplicate that and let's see here. That's all on the y axis. Whoop. Again, these things just launch out of nowhere. Let's lock that along the y axis. There we go. Now let's duplicate that again. Let's align that along the x axis. And then. Let's go ahead and duplicate that and along the uh, y-axis. And then I'm going to put one like sort of right in the center. That's uh, taller than all the other ones, but things just disappear, man. I go launch out of, out of nowhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. So let's go ahead. Uh, that looks pretty good. I'm actually going to bring that down a little bit, but I'm going to scale that up a bit so it's a little taller. Okay. So you can see here, we're in pretty good shape as far as our basic structures. Now, I would really like you to add some more turrets and some other things. And in this case, you know, like this, uh, we're going to have to go into edit mode and we're going to have to add some gates and that kind of fun stuff. But let's go ahead and just do some simple stuff real quick. Let's go ahead and add a, a door and maybe some windows to this, uh, to the castle. Okay, to the keep, excuse me. So let's go ahead into edit mode. So I just went to edit mode. And again, you know, just like as we did with so many of other things, we're going to go ahead and subdivide, 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 subdivide. Okay, actually, that last one was too much. 
So let's go ahead then and just add like just a small little gate or something like that. And there we go. So I'm just kidding at those faces. There we are. And maybe like just some random windows, you know. Just fun, fun stuff, okay? So I'm just gonna add some different windows. Windows usually not a good idea in a keep, but in this case we're gonna go with it, man. All right, so you can see here that's what we got. And if we really want to get fancy, we could add some floors to our, our our keep there, but that's nothing too too important. So again, let's go ahead. Then uh, we're done with our keep. So let's go ahead, like to our our main wall here. Tab into edit mode. Let's add just a, a very simple, like sort of gate here. In this case, wow, this is craziness. Now, I mean, we could get sort of fancy here. Uh, it's not necessary, though. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's have enough. So got to, got to be able to have a, a situation where uh, you know the horses can get through. So, got to make that gate big. <laughs> All right. So, let's go ahead, delete that stuff out, and now it's going to be time to do our materials. And all that fun stuff. This is where things get a little interesting. So there we go. So now, actually, <laughs> we might have to kill stuff on the other side. So let's do that. Yeah. We're going to have to delete some so we can actually see through our situation. So actually, a quick way to do this, if you, do, if you press B on your keyboard, you can do a box select. And I'll take out the majority of your stuff. So now we can actually see what's going on and uh, through our gate. So let's go ahead. There we go. Faces. There we are. So that's looking pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is in good shape, getting close here. So let's go back to object mode. And now what remains is to set materials for our different scenes. So for me, first of all, remember those planes we set up? We're going to go ahead with our top one. Okay, you see we have two here. Okay, or excuse me, with our bottom one. That's going to be our moat. So let's go ahead, go to our material, new. I'm going to call that moat, M-O-A-T, moat. Okay, and that's going to be pretty simple. We're just going to set it to where it's uh, just a bluish light blue I think oh, that's more like purpley so there we go that's our kind of blue moat there alright now let's go ahead here let's go to uh, this this plane we're gonna make a new material it's gonna be we'll call it just ground and in this case it's gonna set it to like a brownish that's more yellow than anything I'll a tan that works okay now for our situation here with our walls, we probably want to set our walls all to the same color. So let's go ahead, select our walls. I'm just selecting all my walls by right clicking and holding in my shift button. So I'm going to go ahead here, I'm going to add a new material. I'm going to call it like outer walls. And in this case, let's go ahead, I'm going to just make it a slight bluish color. And our texture here, I'm going to add a, actually add a texture for this. So let's go ahead, a texture, let's call it outer walls. Okay. Type, let's go ahead to, I like that sort of marble. And let's set it to where the marble is, let's see, sharp, uh, hard. There we go. Let's, let's see what this looks like so far. Okay. Ah, also to change that color to a sort of bluish color as well. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's see what we got so far. I'm just going to set my camera up. Let's render that puppy. Ah, looking cool, just I forgot about my lighting source. So let's go ahead to our uh, lighting source, our lamp. And let's move that up and let's also change that to uh, put it on the side of the camera that way up and let's just do uh, let's call it, let's do a sun with it instead of a 
there we go. Still, ah, this lighting is killing me. So we got to put it on this side. There we go. Let's try that one more time. Ah, it's killing me, man. Let's try that. Last time. All right, I might have to, let me disable shadows quickly. Looking pretty cool, actually. It actually is a pretty legit castle, I have to say. Still, still, still. Well, that's okay. Uh, you just have to play around with your lighting yourself. Now, in this case, what you'll have to do is you'll have to set different materials to... Uh, obviously all your different spots and all that fun stuff so it's sort of you know it's the same old ah thank you okay so you can see that looks pretty cool I mean like it's not yes but uh, you can see here there's things like a the um, the uh, situation with the uh, moat that doesn't look right so what you could do with that is you could put your ground expand it out um, we also need textures for our towers and uh, for different spots like that and that moat looks terrible uh, also textures and materials for our, our keep there so uh, please make this detail this is our final project so use all your skills alright dude get it done <laughs>